Hello everyone, this is Ritesh. How are you all? Please subscribe to my channel if my videos are making sense to you. Don't miss to hit the bell icon if you want to get the regular updates. Otherwise, it's a dead, dead subscription. Do like my video if, if you really like the video. This is the way I get to know about your feedback. And if you don't like it, do let me know at the comment section so that I can improve myself. So, what I have for you today? So here you can see there is a data source and I have a couple of tips for you today but first of all let us try to understand the data source. So here you can see the data source I have modified the sample surface store because uh, you will not get the same structure all the time. So here you can see for example for the year 2017 you can see there is null against the sales and also you can see in the in the original sample surface store that is consistent means every year you get all the product all the subcategories over there or, or, or all the categories over there but here in the real scenario you may not get means you may not have sales for the chair every year over there right or say appliances or accessories so we'll go according to that and because of that only you get the issues in your project and after that you try to get the workarounds so, let, let, so let's go ahead what is the question number one here is the data source where we can see order date and chair for one of the year there is null against the sales I have done that de deliberately so we'll see why question number one so so okay I've just dragged category subcategory product so I can see for the year 2017 okay I can see for the year 2000 there is only one record over there that's fine 2017 so that is expected right but what we want, we want our solution to be like this. For example, if I am selecting 2017, which is not over there, I will modify the, so let us go with 2019 so that you can understand. That's fine. So what I want is in the solution, I should see all the other categories as well, irrespective of it being sold in that very particular year or not, but I want to see, right? In this case, I, I can't do that because I'm filtering with the year and within that year if that category is there then only it will display but I want to display like this all right so first of all let us try to do this thing we are making use of parameter over there the so first of all you will have to create parameter at order date create parameter I've already created the parameter so I'm not going to do that again but I can show you that it should be of type string okay it should not be date it should be of type string and uh, here is my parameter you can see the parameter so we have to just introduce 2017 over there so I'll do that that's fine here's our parameter and after that uh, I have removed this filter so I don't need this I'm making use of parameter okay after that we have to add the option all to the parameter which I have already done that because naturally you don't get this option right so if i want to have my output based on 2018 19 20 and 17 i should have all over there so how we are going to adjust that we'll see after that uh, you have to just paste this very particular calculation if attribute order date parameter is equal to all then sum of sales else if attribute date order date parameter is equal to order date then also say sum of sales and then end right so that means if you select this all that's fine you, you need to get the sum of sales across all the years and if you are choosing a particular year for that only year you will be getting the output so that is a simple uh, let me show you new sales this is the one Right. If I'm choosing all over there, I get the sum of sales. If my parameter is equal to that very particular order date here, so for that year I'm getting the sum of sales. So that is so instead of making use of sales over there, I am going to make use of new sales over there. So I will drag this to the text. And now I can get this. I can get for all, I can get for a particular year as well. I'm going to paste this very particular workbook at my YouTube description so you don't have to worry about following me so don't worry about the same so this is the first part of my 
tablet tip four. Now further enhancing this. I don't want this filter. Maybe I want a single page, a summary where all the order dates should be there, and there I can display the sales. But here, what I can see over there is I'm not able to turn the null to zero. It is looking like null over there to you, but I'll, I'll show you what, what it is. Only one field that is for the year 2017 folding chair. I'm able to turn that to zero with the use of ZN function. So if you see, I'm using ZN function. You, I hope you know about the ZN function. ZN function, okay, let me show you. That will turn null to zero. That nothing, nothing special about that function. It will turn return zero. Okay. So if I go back to the data source uh, for the year 2017, we know that okay, there is null. So my return function is working for this very particular row, but not for the others, which is virtually looking like null, but it's not like that because if for the year 2017. So why this ZN is not working for the year 2017? There is no record such like that. There is no record. So that is a difference. There is no record where you have furniture, chair, deluxe, armchair. Do we have for the year 2017? No. We have only one record over there. So that is a difference between that null and this null. This is the null that is what you can say nothing. <laughs> Maybe nothing. So you have nothing over there. Here you have null. So at least I'm able to convert that to zero. But what I want is, I want to have all zeros, not only that one. So again, you have a different workaround for the same. I can come over there and say, okay, instead of making use of uh, this sales over there, ZN, I'm going to make use of lookup. And I hope you know about lookup. If not, maybe I can just show you. Lookup expression returns the value of the given expression in a target row specified as a relative offset. So for example, look up sum of profit first plus two. So here you have the option of setting the offset as well in your relative with the help of which you can set the relative position. In this case, if I show you, it will be zero only because I don't want to go up or down. For example, here look up sum of sales zero same position I just want to deviate from that position and also at the same time you'll have to compute your calculation you have to say table across or table down so the calculation over here would be look up sum of sales zero same position and at the same time when I drag it over there it should be compute using table across like this Now it is not like that it is the under category chair, deluxe arm chair, and then it is just going from left to right table across. So it has got some identity now and you can convert this because this is no more nothing now. Now you can convert this to zero. Now it will come as null over there and you can convert that to zero. So now it will work when you do look up sum of sales and table across and that's why you see zero over there right also if i go back to the question number one i think this we have already sorted and this we have sorted as well so i'm going to paste this at my youtube description as i said and uh, i'm at the end of my video and i hope you all are doing good so this is Ritesh signing off from dancing with data keep on dancing with data क्योंकि डेटा ही डाटा है